and a local professor providing some historical context into how the Taliban has taken control of Afghanistan. David Cummins is a professor of history at Dickinson College, and he says the Taliban, a religious movement, came into power back in 1996 and seized control of Afghanistan and ended a civil war. He says the Taliban had torn the country apart for nearly seven years since the end of the Soviet Union's military occupation of Afghanistan. The Taliban then governed the country according to their religious ideals. During their time in power, they also permitted al-Qaeda, the organization headed by Osama bin Laden, to operate from Afghanistan territory. I think the primary goal back in 2001 for, for the United States was to uh, eliminate the threat of terrorism against the United States from Afghanistan. But it was carried out, remembering it was carried out by al-Qaeda, not the Taliban. And after this, the U.S. and its allies in the region and Europe tried to stabilize Afghanistan under a new government, which wasn't successful. After 20 years of effort, uh, a couple trillion dollars, I believe, uh, of aid, that experiment has been a failure, very sadly. Cummins says American citizens should ask leaders tougher questions when they promise short occupation of countries, including questions about an exit strategy. And the situation in Afghanistan is constantly developing. Stick with Fox 43 News online at fox43.com for the very latest updates on the overseas situation.